The number one question asked by new Blackstone owners, next to, of course, how do you season your griddle, is what is a smash burger? What makes it different or better than a traditional burger? And how do you make one? Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to perfect your smash burgers, how to prep them so that you can easily rock and roll a ton of these out if needed, at your next family style gathering with your family and friends, and of course, I'm gonna share with you how to top it off with Betty's Burger Sauce. Before we jump into this, be sure to go to the Blackstorm Products YouTube channel and subscribe. That way you guys get a notification letting you know to come watch our new videos. Hit that like button, leave us comments, and share the videos with your friends and family. Now, let's start smashing some burgers. I truly love any kind of burger off the Blackstone, whether it is a fat, juicy, thick burger, or a burger filled with different toppings, or one stuffed with some gooey, gooey cheese in the center. But today we're talking the Smash Burger, which is my go-to burger whenever I have a family-style hangout. And I like to prep everything in the morning or even the night before so that I can sling these out nice and fast. And I always serve these with my Betty's Burger Sauce alongside for people to either drizzle over the top or dip in. So let's jump into the burger sauce. It always starts off with my favorite mayo. My number one go-to is Duke's Mayo. It's got that twang, which I absolutely love. It sets it aside from all of the other other mayos out there so if you can find it get it so we'll add about a cup of mayo to our bowl and to that we're gonna start adding in all of the toppings that you would typically put on your burger which is why I love this sauce so that I don't have to put out a bunch of different condiments you can take this and go so we'll add in some ketchup and mustard and some Worcestershire sauce let's add in some paprika We'll season it up with some black pepper and some salt. Now, of course, I love my fresh garlic cloves. We're gonna grate in some garlic cloves and also grate in some white onion. I love that the onion and the garlic is so finely grated that it kind of just disappears and melts into this sauce so that the kids have no idea that this sauce is filled with garlic and onions. And believe me, they still don't know and I hope that this video doesn't give away my secret to them because I love that they can't get enough of this sauce for not only their burgers, but their fries and their vegetables. You can put this on so many different things. Next, we're gonna add in some of Nathan's pickle juice. I love adding in this pickle juice for the flavor. It also helps to thin it out. Now, this sauce would be perfectly done and ready to stick into the refrigerator. Uh, you could leave it like this if you want to put it into a squirt bottle, easy access. You can get it and take it out of the refrigerator and go with it whenever you want to drizzle over something. Or if you want a little bit of texture to this sauce, you can add in some finely chopped up pickles and add that to your sauce. Now, if you're adding the pickles to the sauce, you'd want to keep this into a container and that way you can spoon it over. Otherwise, it's not going to come out of a little squeeze bottle if you have chunks of pickle throughout your sauce. Now that that's done and ready to get refrigerated, we're going to jump into our burgers. My number one thing about Smash Burgers is prep. Prep is key and these new totes from Blackstone are perfectly sized to keep all of my burgers, my onions, my cheese in the refrigerator ready to go and take outside when I'm ready to make my burgers. You always want to use a good quality ground beef, 80-20 would be the perfect fat to meat ratio for these burgers. You want to loosely roll them into balls. If you're doing a regular size burger, you want to go about four, four to five ounces at the max. If you're going to make them into sliders, you'd want to go for about three ounces, possibly even two, especially if you're going to make them into doubles or triples or depending on how many you want to stack up and enjoy. In one of my other containers, I have some thinly shaved or sliced white or yellow onions. Depending on which you like, just don't use those red onions. 
Now let's talk cheese. It's the one time you can buy that processed American cheese. However, I will say don't go for the single wrap slices in the plastic. Go for the deluxe American cheese or a good Lando Lake American cheese sliced from the deli or even if you're lucky enough find that Cooper Sharp American cheese. It is so ooey gooey and perfect for these burgers. Also for this cheese so that you are not fumbling around trying to peel apart cheese in the middle of a cookout you want to leave them crisscross in one of these totes or in a container in your refrigerator or a bag so that when it comes to making these burgers, you are not fumbling around trying to peel apart that cheese. When it comes to our roll of choice, you want to go for a potato roll in my opinion. Martin's would be my number one pick. I also love to prep these rolls by pulling off the top sliding it under so that the heel of our bun is on the top and you'll see why when it comes to making these burgers. You can prep this the night before, stick them right back into the bag that they came in. This way you are able to sling out these burgers so fast like the griddle master that you are. Next up is what kind of fat do you want to cook your burgers in? Some people will tell you you do not need any kind of oil or butter on your griddle surface, which is what I will often do if I have a nice quality ground beef that has a nice 20% fat ratio to it. If you want to use butter or oil, go for it. However, I find that that burns easily, so I like to use duck fat. Duck fat adds so much flavor to the burgers, so if you can find a duck fat or even go for ghee, which is a clarified butter, it will help you perfect your burgers. We have our Blackstone set to medium to medium high heat. If you are comfortable with cooking these burgers and you know how to sling them out nice and fast, because you've prepped, you can set your blackstone to high heat. If you are uncomfortable with it, take it to medium heat or medium high heat. Today we will use a little bit of that duck fat. We're gonna drop down our loosely packed balls of meat into that duck fat. Pile them high with a handful of our onions. Season them up with a good amount of kosher salt, making sure to get all around these burgers with a little help from the new Blackstone Burger Smasher and to make cleanup easier and to assure that none of that burger gets stuck to your smasher, we're using a piece of parchment paper. When smashing these down, you want to press firmly giving it a little bit of a rock and roll motion if needed to assure that you smash this burger as thin or thick as you want depending on how well you like it. As long as you get a nice contact with the burger and your smasher and pressure onto the griddle surface, you're going to get a nice sear, locking in all of these juices to create a nice, drippy, juicy, delicious smash burger. You want to be sure to hold that press down firmly for 10 seconds before releasing and pulling back your parchment paper. This way, you create a nice crust on that burger. This way, the juices flow up rather than out, making for a nice, perfect, juicy, drippy, delicious smash burger. You'll let that hang out and cook for about a minute and a half just until those edges begin to turn brown and you see a change of color. Give them a quick flip, immediately topping them off with your cheese. Now you can go with one slice, or if you are like me and like double cheese, give them two slices. Top them off with those buns that we already separated to help, again, make your burger process nice and quick and easy. You're gonna let those buns hang out and ride on the top of these burgers for another minute, allowing them to sit on the top of these will warm your buns. If you wanted to toast up your buns, you could spread a little bit of that Duke's mayo and then just give them a nice 30 to 60 seconds on the griddle surface to just char up around the edges. These are done and looking perfect, so we're gonna slide our spatula under the burger with our other hand, we're gonna pull off the heel of our bun, place it underneath our spatula and slide that spatula out from underneath that burger. And that is our smash burger. We can do that again one more time so that you can see just how easy and quick this process is. With the prep work done the night before or even in the morning, as long as you prep 
all of these ingredients, which are just a few, you will be making yourself some beautiful smash burgers for your friends and family. And around here, of course, we like to serve them up with that Betty's Burger sauce. Whether you drizzle over the top of these burgers or dip in your burgers, this is the perfect addition to a perfectly cooked smash burger on the Blackstone. You can get crazy with these burgers and season them off with any one of the Blackstone seasonings that you prefer. All Purpose is a perfect addition or the whiskey burger. Actually, all of them are just delicious atop of these burgers if you want a little added flavor. If you want or need to skip the onions, go for it. Just be sure to season that meat with some kosher salt. I hope that this video has helped you perfect or learn a little bit more about the Smash Burger off the Blackstone so that you can enjoy making these and showing off to your friends and family just how fast and amazing these burgers are on a Blackstone. Make sure to serve them up with Betty's Burger Sauce and if you do, post a picture and tag Blackstone products and tag Blackstone Betty because I cannot wait to see you guys enjoying this burger sauce as much as we do here. I see so many of you guys making and enjoying, which I absolutely love watching and getting messages telling me that you guys are making my burger sauce and enjoying it. Don't forget to go to that Blackstone Products YouTube channel and subscribe and leave us comments down below and share this video with your friends and family and invite them over to enjoy some burgers off your Blackstone. Until next time guys, I'm Blackstone Betty and I will see you guys in the next video.